guy standing there. All Maybe to, yeah. <laughs> to see and make sure no one rushes from their seats. You never know with man. You never know. <laughs> Young fans. They're unbreakable. Young fans. As soon as, as soon as they get seated, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually gonna check out to the back as well. Okay, yeah. But I'll get I'll let you guys know. Okay. I'm gonna give a, ta a ten and a five, and then if you need me, just point right at me or okay. just like give me give me some kind of signal. Okay, awesome. A little little phone ring, something like that. I don't know. Well, like, <laughs> yeah, like uh, please call me. I need Amen. help now, <laughs> and I'll I'll get right up here. Okay, sweet. Are you on all three panels today, or just the next, this one and the next one? Um, I did the last one as well. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So. so I'm doing like three in a row, basically. Okay. Um, yeah, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. The last one was about TikTok and growing your community, so it's like, it was more informative. Yeah. I think oh, yeah. this one's definitely going to be more like a circus. Yeah, oh, so. yeah. oh, for sure. <laughs> I should have put Dream Space up there. Damn. See, I submitted it, and then he did a face reveal. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Oh well. Yeah, oh well. Who is to know, right? <laughs> Alright. It's, oh, it's happening. Hmm. I like seeing people's merch. I think it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a nice community too. Because from what I've seen on like Twitter, people were just, they're either excited or they're bummed that they're not going to be here. Yeah. Um, but it just seems like a really like good-hearted, kind of chaotic, fun um, Minecraft. People. Minecraft shenanigans, that's yeah. what I've gathered. I'm supposed to ask a question, what's your favorite Minecraft block? Um, and I guess that's like a specific thing to their content, so I yeah. don't know. We, we not, shall see. Have you played Minecraft? Oh yeah. Okay, okay, oh, yeah, I just yeah, wanted yeah. to make sure. No, I've definitely played Minecraft before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I actually have been playing it a little bit, but...
Welcome everybody to the Dream and Friends Ultimate SMP Reunion. Thanks so much for making it out. Ah. <laughs> Let's keep it up for Philzo! How you doing? You doing good? You guys doing good? You guys feeling good? Yeah? So they need no introduction. Um, good to have you here. How you guys doing? How you guys all doing today? How good. Yeah. He did it. He did it. I just said good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm shaking. <laughs> Say something else, Dream. Say something else. <laughs> Say another word. I love you guys. <laughs> This is, this is crazy. Yeah. So we have a few questions here. Um, I think we'll probably end up taking some community questions as well later, but you know, I'm honestly gonna like leave the floor up to y'all. First question is, how'd you get involved? How'd you get started? How did it lead you to Twitch? <laughs> anybody, anybody. <laughs> What do you answer? Come on. <laughs> I, I, what, what am I supposed to say? Yeah, guys, oh, uh, the join the server. <laughs> answer it, Dream. <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> How did we... Wait, what's the question? How did right, we first get involved? <laughs> what's the cue? How'd you join? Oh, how'd I join? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It was actually Tommy. Tommy, Tommy said, I want to role play with you. And I'm like, okay, let's do it, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. There you go. Hello. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't like, actually, I've never really asked Dream like the specific reason. Like, I know Dream kind of found me. Um, I saw like a small YouTube channel at the time. And then he just kind of invited me and now here we are. How, how can you see him and not add him to the server? Come on. I think the way that I joined was um, I was doing like a, some like bit on my stream about like running for president of Lemanberg while actually not being on the server. And then I got a DM like midway through that stream just called like, what's, oh, what's, your, what's your IGN? And I, it took me like a second to remember what that was for. And then I just kind of realized, I was like, oh, okay. And I joined from that. Dream tweeted that I was underrated and then just invited me. Um... I don't really know. Dream and George were playing on some survival server, and I said, whitelist me. And then uh, that's what <laughs> happened. I guess I just. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think I kind of made it, so I just whitelisted myself. I don't remember. <laughs> They needed a woman that's not American. <laughs> I like they were just passing around the mic. Like, just keep going. Like, whoever wants to speak. I have go a for quick it. question. I have a quick question. Should I cut my hair? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only answer ever. Cut the hair. Cut no. the hair. Just <laughs> chop it all off. All right, it's time we announce. All right, bring out the barber. <laughs> no. 
Next question. All right, you got it. So these are like basic boring questions, but what were some of the obstacles that you faced when building your community? Got really lean forward. <laughs> they, they can be difficult sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> They're not perfect. It is loud. <laughs> Bullish answer for this. Answer? What answer for what? What you're doing to all of us right now. <laughs> I don't know what early obstacles there were. I mean, I feel like it kind of like we, they built it themselves more than we built it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's more. Aww. I feel like that's true. <laughs> He's bombing all of us. <laughs> that's, the, that's the truth. I mean, I have a lot of Oz, but. Yeah. Anyone disagree? <laughs> no. Uh, no? I had an answer, but then I saw Foolish, and he looks like a Jedi now with his hair, so I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't think anymore. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Say something. I, uh, you guys just all kind of spawned in. I don't know. I don't know where you came from. It was kind of easy. <laughs> it was kind of easy. Yeah, I mean, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Zick. Well, you guys have an awesome community. This really seems like no obstacles. Yeah, yeah, you guys are great. So I guess this next question is, uh, how did you start it? What, what did the beginning look like for y'all? Oh, we turned it off. <laughs> oh, we answered that one. Oh, wait, we actually answered this one while... <laughs> we should go back to the other that's question. That's my bad. Oh, no, we, that's we fine. We can, dude, we can skip it. We can literally just... We can just <laughs> skip it. Oh, God. <laughs> Or actually, yeah. I don't like that I'm holding the mic already. I want to give it to someone else. Who wants it? I mean, when have I done role play? Has role play helped you with your personal relationships? What does that even mean? Um, no? Well, it's supposed to be like, yeah, I became a better liar. And I, I can now get away with it. No, I don't know. What? There you go. Okay, that's a joke, but maybe not. <laughs> Um, okay, I think sometimes it can provide like a new interesting dynamic if you just, um... No, actually, I don't want to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, Minecraft. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I'm not going to elaborate. Yeah, role-playing with my friends has been a ton of fun. And then whenever we sign into Minecraft to do it, it's also really cool. Yay! <laughs> okay, so uh, we are going to do some Q&A from the audience, but I have a question for all of you. What is your favorite Minecraft block? Oh, shit. Clay. Yeah. The dirt block, it's what I build everything with. <laughs> um, I like the gold block. The, the beacon? I mean, the beacon, the beacon yeah. <laughs> Bedrock. Uh, probably like hardened clay or something like that. 
obviously, um, it's got to be like dirt, right? <laughs> Why not? I think slime. Yeah. Why are we all using this mic? We have our own. We have exactly. We all have our own. You should be the only one Dream the mic. We have our own. Me and Quackity will share this one. What, okay. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> so we have some questions. Two microphones right there. You guys start lining up so we can ask some questions. Oh. <laughs> oh my Orderly. God. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful, guys. Be safe. Huh? Yeah, in after this. Do you like my shirt? Huh? I can't really see we it. Have, the we have lights eye. blasting in our what? faces. What? Oh wait, I see what it is now. I put a lot of effort into this. <laughs> it's pretty blurry. Okay. Um, do you have a question? Well, I was gonna ask about my shirt, but now I need to think of something. <laughs> Oh, actually, go, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so uh, this oh. this question does not apply to Rambu, because your character's dead. Um, <laughs> yes! um, for the rest of you, if your character had uh, a limbo, what, what, did you, what do you think it would be? I don't know what that means. <laughs> It's like when you sleep and you dream, you kind of, you know, like. Hey. I feel like I kind of already built the whole series around. I don't, I don't know why you would ask George a lore related question. Like, George, <laughs> yeah. yeah, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Wait, are you asking me? No. Oh, I thought you were asking like no, everyone. No, I was asking all of you, but none of you answered. Oh. oh. Um, okay, I will, I will just be existing in uh, a cake factory <laughs> and making cakes all day long. <laughs> Chocolate cake. <laughs> oh, thank you. Sweet. Okay. okay. Hi. I, I, honestly, I feel like most people don't actually know what it'd be until it happens if it happens so I'm immortal so I'm not I don't plan on it <laughs> you know I think limbo is not a great place so for my character it would be bad boy halo's basement <laughs> <laughs> to be clear bad boy halo was gonna be here but they wouldn't let him bring all of his guns <laughs> true story Hi, um, my name's Jay. I, my question is for Quackity. Um, and, uh, <laughs> <Really? Hi. laughs> um, and my question is, what is your favorite thing about filming your lore episodes? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the filming part is really fun. Sky's the limit. Um, I, 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 I sit down and just grind my mind creatively. And I mean, the filming part is, is so great because we're always fucking up. I mean, with the last lore, <laughs> with the last lore, I think you can attest, I think Dream can attest, like the last lore stream, the filming of like the slimes and everything, it was a lot of parts put together, but it's, it's really fun. It's really fun. I, it's, it's a pleasure to do that. All right, thank you. Who's going? Who's going? You're going. You're going. Oh, okay. Okay. You're going. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 This is cool. This is so cool. Um. Okay. Um. Hi. My name's Clara. It's my birthday. Um. And I just. I just <laughs> Thank you. I just wanted to ask. Um. If you and your lore character were to get in a fight, who would win? You or your character? 
Oh. I mean, I'm looking, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Or everybody, I, anybody. I think my answer. character would have been by a long shot. We're really, really close. <laughs> I'm not, not as tough in, in real life. <laughs> Don't underestimate yourself. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, God. Mine's OP, but I could still kick his ass, I think. So. <laughs> Carl's ass in real life, but maybe not my character. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, how do you guys deal with, like, burnout and, like, I guess over content creation and things like that? Do you, uh, do you take breaks? Do you, like... Uh, Express creativity in other ways. From, from all the content we've been I putting never out, take I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just enjoy streaming. Like, I don't mind doing it for like several hours every day. Uh, maybe at like some point I'll like get tired and want to take a longer break. Like right now, this is nice. Like I'm taking a break from it. But as soon as this is done, I'm ready to go back to streaming. <laughs> There's a few Hell's Kitchen episodes he's behind on. Alright, thank you for your question. Let's go ahead and take one over here. Uh, hi, I'm Amy. Um, my question is completely irrelevant to everything, but I wanted to know what all of your favorite Breaking Bad characters are. <laughs> <laughs> And why is it Hank? I'd say probably Jesse, but... Yeah! You got the Jesse fit right now. You got the beanie and everything, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. Um, I've only seen a little bit of it, but I guess Walter White, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen any of it, so Gus. Oh. Oh. Good choice. I liked Jesse's girlfriend, but I forget her name. She, I, I'm really excited to see her character develop. I haven't watched the rest yet, but... Uh, my favorite characters are probably like Badger and Skinny P. I think they're like funny. They're just goofy. My favorite, I mean, it's pretty common. Everyone just loves her. It's got to be Skylar. <laughs> Carl, my favorite also is Jesse's girlfriend. Yeah. Wait, which one? <laughs> First one? No, I mean, he has multiple. What? Oh. Did they break up? Boiler, bro. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wait, did they break up? What happened? What happened? I, I can't, I'm not going to give spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Are we taking questions from this side? Yep. Uh, hi, um, my name's Ksai, by the way, nice to meet you. Um, I'm recording also, I hope that's okay. Um, no. I was wondering... I was wondering what your favorite vegetable is. <laughs> Peppers. <laughs> Yo, peppers are my favorite also, to be clear. I guess I'll go peppers Nice too. juicy red pepper. <laughs> I think broccoli. Bro maybe, maybe Brussels. Brussels sprouts are pretty. Yo, even the. Yo. I like them. Even the microphone didn't like that. Look, look. Even the microphone didn't like that. Even like pickled Brussels sprouts? They're good. Yo! You like them. You like them. Yes. Vegetables? Yes. Yes. They're good. Yes. They're so good. I don't know. I fuck with oranges. <laughs> um, maybe like celery and peanut butter. Bro, peanut butter is not a like vegetable. A combo. A combo. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say peas. Okay, love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Thank you. 
Go ahead. Um, hi, my name is Ella, and I wanted to ask if you could swap like your lore, like your the, the, your story from another character in the lore. Who could you swap it with? Carl Skeppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just switch spots. <laughs> Little. I'd say Technoblade. I know. A rest in peace, obviously. But I feel like, his, legitimately, I think his character is probably the most similar to mine in terms of motives and uh, other things, I guess. So, yeah. Rest in peace. My man George made lore out of sleeping. So, George. <laughs> Good choice. You can pick me. Um, I really like the depth of the Sapnap's character, so I would go with Sapnap. The depth? Yeah, everyone just loves Sapnap's depth. The depth of my character. Did <laughs> <laughs> you say depth or depth? depth. Oh, depth. Um, I would probably switch with George, because uh, he gets to do nothing and chill. Everybody's Pretty trying nice. to opt out of lore. <laughs> gave my answer. What do you mean, George? <laughs> I said Skeppy, okay? <laughs> it stays. <laughs> Skeppy. Um, I have a gift for Quackity, and I'm not sure if I'll see him around. Can I give it to him? Oh, I don't know sure. If you me. can hand it over to someone. I'm sure they'll, they'll hand it to me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, after the show, for sure. Uh, who do I hand it to? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Now I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I can't, I can't actually see much because the lights are super bright. Oh, hi! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got you. Thank Banana. you. Thank you so much. Oh, right here? Sorry. Um, it's a, whoa. <laughs> it's letters from fans, um, both in Spanish and English. Um, uh, what the heck? Thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, go ahead. Hi, um, I have a question for my friend Stonepaw. Uh, when is Jay Schlatt gonna be making his return? <laughs> he's, he's dead. <laughs> but, but so is Rambo, so. <laughs> Up on the left side. Hi, um, I was just gonna ask a question. What is your least favorite or favorite thing about consecration and why? You. <laughs> that, that's his least favorite. That's his least favorite. <laughs> okay. He's your least favorite. Wow. Favorite. Least favorite. I actually have to like do stuff. That's the problem. I just want to like relax, maybe watch football or something. I don't know. I know what the worst part is. It's it's working with Samnap. <laughs> so fucking true. So annoying. Oh, and editing, yeah. <laughs> George hates editing. That's the real one. No, I think I speak for all of us. All this is probably our favorite part, just seeing this. This is fucking amazing. It's fucking cool. Least favorite part? Um <laughs> All of you know. <laughs> Say it. Go ahead, say it. You can be honest. <laughs> don't be scared. I don't know. I can't like think of like a least favorite. Then what's a favorite? I mean, like rats definitely like up there, but I don't. I don't know. Get back. I honestly don't think I have a least favorite part. Yeah. yeah. We, 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 don't, we don't have real jobs. We have fake jobs, guys. We don't have a least favorite. It's all really stupid and easy. <laughs> I agree. 
I said my answer. I'm like, I'm like cutting the queue. Okay. Thank you. I think. Um, one right. more. Th Fine, we have to go through more questions. Um, so. <laughs> one more thing. I do actually have a gift for Dream and Foolish. I gave everyone else a gift. I'm pretty sure. So I just have one for Dream and Foolish. I gave everyone else a gift, so don't feel left out, okay? I did. Okay, if you don't remember me, I'm sorry. But yeah, I have a gift for y'all, so I'll hand it to them. I'm just going to let y'all know about that. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Banana. Oh, hi. <laughs> Banana. 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 Okay, I have two questions. One, can I get a picture with you guys in my banana suit? And then the second is, uh, my friend made you guys gifts. She's right there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's, that's my question. <laughs> I can't hear anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Can I get a picture with you guys in my banana suit? If that's okay with you, like afterwards <laughs> or something. <laughs> And then my friend made you guys gifts. She's, she's right there. Oh, sick. So, yeah. <laughs> if that's okay with you guys. It's not up to me. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Uh, it's, up no? To, uh, it's up to Sabnap. He'll decide. And I have to report to Foolish about that one. Well, I'm going to have to talk to Quackity about this. <laughs> yes. I'm going to have to... <laughs> Just take it right now. Just turn around. <laughs> Be quick. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. So I think what we're going to do now, you guys want to do a uh, swap? Yeah? Yeah, swap, 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 swap. It's, um, Unfortunately. All right, I'm, I'm leaving. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not leaving. <laughs> okay. I'm think... leaving. Goodbye, everyone. Get out of here. <laughs> Foolish was bored. He has to go. Yeah, bye, Foolish. <laughs> See you never, pal. <laughs> How many... Q&A, so if you guys want to answer some questions along with everybody else, that's what we're doing. So um, let's go ahead and take that side. Yes. Hi, um, I'm Britt. Um, my question, is it really a question, but like more of a request? Can you guys do your best lore line in your lore voice? <laughs> everyone, everyone. I'll have to think of a lot. Dream, say something about spirit. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do mine. Oh. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the grand opening of Los Amados. <laughs> okay, I can do one. Who are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dream, but you should have paid me more. Um, 
I don't, I don't remember the old Lord line. It'd probably be like George or something dumb like that. I don't think I ha- do. I have a low line. <laughs> Wait, do I? Scream. Just scream. Yes. You want me to scream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just scream. Okay, I'll I'll scream. Wait, I don't know. Is this a bad idea? I'll get really close to the mic. I feel bad. <laughs> I see exclamation point Jack Manifold. Love George Not Found. <laughs> he really tried to avoid that. I it was think very you awkward. Do that. <laughs> I mean, it's. It, yeah, I, can, I can wipe it off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to cry tonight. That's okay. Dream right, still did not turn. say his lore line. Can I, can I curse? Right. I mean, I don't oh have anything. God, okay. All right. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. I don't give a fuck about spirit. <laughs> he said the thing. <laughs> Little off, I couldn't stop smiling. It's okay. Can I do mine? Right. No. Oh, Shit. <laughs> Will, you're alive. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's go ahead and take a question over here. Hello. My name is Theo, and my question was, is it ever difficult, especially for those playing more antagonistic characters, to get into that role for lore? <laughs> Not really, I mean. <laughs> it's kind of fun, I mean. Um, I wish I was more of a jerk. <laughs> Purple deserved more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too nice, I haven't done anything really, really that bad, apart from maybe destroying a Whoa, nation. Hold on, what? Yo, 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 yo. Okay. Gonna blow just up the man and be like, I didn't do anything a, evil. Just a tiny bit of anarchy. It's like, no, it's really fun. I didn't have no problems. <laughs> you killed your son. Um, I mean, I would say I'm really bad at acting and I'm pretty monotone. Uh, it happened a lot with Quackity's lore. It took like five takes to like get a good like take, but <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know. Every time the subject of lore comes around and someone's planning it, I ask if I can kill people and blow stuff up, and they never let me do it. So, if I was to be a bad guy, I think I'd be decent at it. I'm not really to, a bad guy, right? <laughs> well, to be clear, Santa comes to me and goes, "Can I kill somebody? I want to kill everybody." So, like, and then he's saying, <laughs> "Everyone comes to him. Like, you go to everyone else." Oh, actually, I love killing people's pets. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> I'm like a professional hater. I'd be preying on people's downfall and shit. So I find it really easy. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much my day job anyway. So it's pretty pretty simple. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get on the left. Hi guys. Um, my name's Meg. Um, I was just wondering if you guys had any like favorite head cannons of your characters that you've seen that maybe you've incorporated into your characters or just enjoyed looking at that kind of thing. I think my favorite headcanon is one that kind of retcons Will's cursed fridge law. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll quickly summarize it. Basically, Will said that I fucked a fridge <laughs> uh, on my stream one day and it just became canon because he said so and it's Will. So, And then uh, I saw somebody say, say that it's a better way to look at it if Will was a kid and saw a picture of Kristen on the fridge and said, who's that? And I said, that's your mum. And he just, he just assumed it was the fridge and I never corrected him. <laughs> my favorite headcanon is that uh, Skeppy and Bad Boy Halo are my dad's. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Thank you for looking at me, George. I guess I'll say my answer. Um, I really like the one where I'm either a zombie or a robot or some weird amalgamation of the both. Uh, I never really... I I probably should do something with it, to be honest, because it's a really cool idea, but I... I'm... (sighs) Writing's hard, you know what I mean? But maybe one day. 
I clapped myself at the end there. Sorry, social anxiety kicked in. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was going to talk about my favorite headcanon, but Wilbur just shut it down the last convention. So, uh. You did not just say that. <laughs> I'd say my favorite headcanon is probably about Dream's motivations, about trying to return the server to when it was just him and his friends, I guess, at the beginning. I'm not saying that's true, I'm just saying that it's my favorite headcanon because it's, it's cute. But. <laughs> that is so nice. I like all the Gummy Carl ones. I, I've, I, don't, I don't know which one, but I'm going to just rip it. I'm going to steal it blatantly. Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be cool. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, God. <laughs> guys, these Thank are you. a lot of lore questions for a Met NPC character, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. Okay. Hi, my name is. Love that one. That's a good one. He's, he's like, oh. the loudest individual ever, by the way. That like filled the room. You don't even have a microphone, my lord. Hello, uh, my name <clears throat> my name is Oakley. Uh, I've been a big fan of you guys for like the last like three four years. So this is been, like this is really freaking awesome. I have like Dream Ten Mill merch on from his old merch company. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, my one question is about merch. Is uh, what's your guys' favorite merch piece you guys have released? Free Everything advertising. From oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for asking. Welcome. On carljacobs.co, you can get the yeah. brand new one. Yeah. Available now. Yeah. Yes. Ending at the end of TwitchCon. Thank you. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to help you, Shill. I actually think Carl's merch is some of the best I own. Uh, this is me just being genuine. I'm not even paid to say this. We can maybe carljacobs.co. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it up. Again! <laughs> it will be a shame. I fucking love the loss of audition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'd say probably the most recent Dream Team stuff we did. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Right now, puns.shop, Halloween merch. It's a, it's a nice, cool bee-looking thing. It's a ghost bee. I really, like, pun, I really like your merch. Thanks. Available at carljacobs.com. No, puns.shop, puns.shop. <laughs> puns. Am I going to be puns. asked shop. my question? Uh, I probably agree with Dream. I like, I like uh, a lot of the Dream Team designs. Like, I like the, the one with the, the last Halloween ones, the little ghosts. I think they're cute. <laughs> just all of my stuff is just the best. You know? <laughs> Guys, if you go to jackmanifold.shop right now, you're going to find a page. It's completely taken down, nothing but empty promises, but there were good clothes on there once, and that's what counts. Are we just shouting out our shops now? Is this <laughs> I, I don't even have clothes to sell, Phil. I just, you know, maybe next time, you know, get it in their minds. I think my favorite is the one with the second check, because it's just literally, I wrote it, and it's just really cool. Um, but I do have some future stuff coming out that I don't want to... That I'm really, really happy. Uh, yeah. There's a, an Antarctic Empire thing coming, which is really cool. I, I don't know which Dream Merch employee, by the way, was planted in the audience to ask that question, but very good idea. <laughs> yeah, marketing. Thank you, love you guys. Thank you so much. Get the left side over here. Hi, I just wanted to say it's good to see you guys after being um, a fan for years. I just want to ask, this is directed to Dream, but anyone else could answer if they have any input. Um, if you were to go back in time and start over the Dream SMP, would, you, would it become this role play series that it's been, or would you try to make it something completely different? I, I would not touch a thing. I, I feel like it's too risky. It's, it turned out too amazing. I mean, I, you can just tell by looking around this room. Like, I mean, I feel like it's... it's it's like the time travel question. It's like, I don't know. I wouldn't go back and touch a thing. I'd be far too scared. Maybe I'd kick Carl off, but I don't know. 
You don't get to farm Oz and then farm ha ha's at me. Wow, I love you guys so much. <laughs> Fuck Dream. I right, find maybe I'd go back and I'd erase carljacobs.co, his shop, just delete it all. <laughs> Thank oh. you so much, guys. I would go back and change the location of my house because everyone steals my shit. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> um, yeah, may maybe I just wouldn't sleep as much. I don't know. Yeah, something like something like that. That would have worked out better, maybe. Sleep more. Maybe even more. Who knows? Don't encourage him, man. He like basically never leaves bed. Jack. Me. What would I do you. if I was to change the Dream S&P permanently and forever? Uh, I'd probably just give it a, a slightly catchier name. The Manifold S&P, Jack Manifold S&P. <laughs> uh, you know, Thunder 1408 S&P, something like that. It, I think any of those would probably work slightly better, but that's just my opinion. I, I, I didn't see that one coming at all, Jack. When I, we, I, <laughs> I've never said that before. I've never made that joke. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> yes! It, no, 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 it's not a joke. It's very serious. <laughs> Hi, hello. I didn't hear that. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'd please, that's my bad. No, sorry. Um, sorry for my bad English, but this my question is for Quackity. Uh, how will you how do you balance like the Dream S P and Karma Land? <laughs> Repeat that question one more time, please. <laughs> What? ¿Cómo le haces para balancear el Dream S&P y Karma Land? Like both at the same time? Sí. Oh, okay. Well. Oh my god. Um, okay, so for those who don't know, she, she's asking how I balance Dream S&P and Karma Land. Uh, so it's it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, but I think it's two different experiences because once in English and, and once in Spanish. So it's really fun. It's it's not like I'm doing two things. It, it's like it's like I'm doing one of it. Like it's a total different experience. Each both it, amazing and they're both in their own ways. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Second <laughs> question from the left side. Um, I have a weird question, but can you guys take my B reel for me? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take my B reel. I just remembered. It was going to be one person yes. that asked that. I was waiting for it. <laughs> He's going to bring my phone. Oh, of course. <laughs> this guy does not you understand be real. He's, He's never, never been real. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, wait, Dream, don't worry, I'm an expert. Oh my god. I made these cats for Dream George and Sapnap, but also, um, what can y'all tell us about future lore? <laughs> what? Oh, what can you tell us about future lore? Yeah. You're well, gonna be watching my channel very soon. <laughs> it's actually, Maybe. That's actually. <laughs> Skeppy's coming back. <laughs> I, I, George getting his visa has kind of like delayed things a little bit, but I'm sorry. Thanks, George. There are there's lots of plans, and they're they're moving. So I, I can't I can tell I, what I can tell you I can tell you what, but I can tell you that Dream S&P season two 100% is coming, and it will be soon. 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 And Lil Nas X is gonna come back, and that's real. Yeah. No love for Lil Nas X in this room, <laughs> my lord. Dead silence. Uh, I said, I said, no, I'll repeat myself. I said Lil Nas X was definitely coming back for season two. Now, can I? 
My bad for leaking, my bad, but it's real. Uh, I'll have to. Uh, so I do have something planned for a kind of an ending to the uh, the anarchist group, uh, the syndicate. So, and there's also going to be a, a cool surprise that I can't leak, but it will be really good. So it's fine, I'll leak it soon. <laughs> Hello, my name is Adrina. Um, my question is, what is your favorite Disney Channel movie or TV show? The correct answer is High School Musical 2. Warm shout out to Camp Rock. I don't know if this is even working. Camp Rock, also. High School Musical, but the first one. The third one. <laughs> Wait, were we talking Disney movies and TV shows? Yeah. yeah. Could it just be on Disney Plus? Yes. Yeah. Owl House. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Don't spoil anything. I'm only on season two. <laughs> Wizards of Waverly Place. No way. That's what I was just about to say. All right, I agree with puns. That's definitely my favorite show. It's the best one. I honestly don't really know what. He was Disney too old to watch to Disney Channel. No, I don't remember what. I don't think I even had Disney Channel. Exactly. I don't remember. Yo, George liked Steamboat like, Willie. Ha- Do you guys even know what Bro- Sky is? Did you have Sky? <laughs> we didn't have Sky. You guys have Sky and white. to watch it. <laughs> Yeah, we only have BBC. Well, I, don't, I honestly don't even know. It's like this guy sat and watched Coronation Street Daily, and that was it. <laughs> You're looking to me for my answer, aren't you, George? My answer, actually, not to become cyclical, but High School Musical 2, I used to watch every single night. Like, every single night. So I kind of got to stick with that. Thank you so much. Let's take a question from you. Hi, I'm Kitty. My question is for Quackity. Is there any lore that you wish you could have done that you didn't end up getting to do? Yes. Oh my gosh. Um, when Wilbur was filming his finale for the lore, he messages me. He's like, King, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to record this right now. You have to be here. And I said, I said, I'm not home. And then when he premiered his like, finale, I was so sad because there could have been a really cool moment where they made up. They made up at the end. <laughs> so, made up, made up. I said made up. Uh, but that, that's one thing I, I really regret. Also, for another Lost of Oddest thing, uh, I might as well reveal it because no one ever found out. But actually, Schlatt was who uh, lost the bet. Uh, uh, you know, in the first lore, uh, Schlatt was who lost uh, the bet. And he was supposed to come work for me in Lost of Oddest, and he didn't. So, so was <laughs> he was not a man of his word in the lore, to be clear. Thank you so much. Okay, I think we have time for one more question over here. Okay. Oh, wow, that's loud. Um, can, can we do a fist bump? Because that means I did something cool. How do we do that? Uh-huh. Like what Dream did. We do a big fist bump. Okay. Three, two, one. Yay. Thank you. Okay, that was super short. Over here. Hi. <laughs> Um, so, (laughs) hi, um, my name is Brooke, it's nice to see all you guys, um, I have a question for Dream, um, now, I'm over here, hello, (laughs) um, now that you've, I see the lights more than I see you, so I mean, (laughs) it's okay, uh, now that you've face revealed and all that, I know you said you were looking forward to, like, seeing all your friends and stuff like that, now that you've done that, is there anywhere specific you're looking forward to, like, going? (laughs) Or that you want to go to and that you hadn't been able to before? I mean, honestly, a home with the dream team. I mean, that's the that's place. <laughs> like, finally, you get to actually do things. Dream Team Christmas, Dream Team Halloween. Yeah! <laughs> like, In their favorite photographer puns. That's the only thing. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. One more. This last one, one more. right here. Over here. Or no. Over there. Okay. Hi, I'm Riley, over here. Um, Hi. My question's mainly for, like, Quackity. 
Uh, do you plan on doing any IRL things? Because I know the Dream Team's doing IRL now that George is here, but <laughs> Quackity, are you going to do IRL? Oh, yeah, 100%. It, it's something I really want to do, for sure. And it, it's going to be cool. Uh, you know, now that all my friends are in America, I think a lot of cool shit can happen, for sure. <laughs> He Thank says you. all of them, all of his friends. Now all of his friends are in America. Is that just me? <laughs> if, if, any, if, any PD, if anybody thinks they're his friend and doesn't live in America, they are not your friend. Yeah, no, that kind of like hurt <laughs> a bit, but I'm going I'm to I'm I'm say yeah, that. Yeah, that's, okay. that's a fair assumption. <laughs> okay. He's not. We have one minute left. Happy birthday, Kylie. Oh. Happy birthday, Hi, Kylie. Happy birthday, Kylie. <laughs> I Hi. Um, I, so I have two quick questions. One of them is... What has ins like? How do you feel about inspiring so many people with your content? And the second one is for Quackity. ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Cómo se siente ser el único hispano en el Dream SMP? So the first one is for everyone, right? Yes. Okay, I'll answer the second one last. Okay. Thank you. How do, how do I feel that so many people? What was the question? Uh, how do you feel that you've inspired so many people? Oh. It. I don't know. I feel like <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe, I guess. It's, it's something that I don't know, makes me very emotional, obviously. And um, I don't know, being able to see the impact, even just talking to you guys and seeing you guys in person and meeting the few fans that I have so far. But uh, I, I went to the, all I did was go to the, like, the TwitchCon like, partner party. And so they're all supposed to be partners. And that's all the pictures you've seen. I was, there was nowhere else. That was it. That, that wasn't supposed to be the fans, but. That was a lot of fun, so I don't know. I feel like it, it feels, it's indescribable. I, I feel like a lot of my content is actually inspired by the community first, so it works both ways. You're amazing, Tina. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go first and then I'll go back. Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty nuts. Like, quantifying the numbers is really difficult sometimes, I think. Um, but seeing you all here is just so amazing. Like, it's just, it's just nuts. <laughs> so, I know, I know. It's, it, suck, it sucks that, like, we couldn't fit more people in here, but there's a small room, kind of. Yeah, we need a bigger room. Yeah! Twitch, we need a bigger room. <laughs> No. It was so bad. Is it is it bad? It's, all... <laughs> it's unfathomable. Yeah. Why? I'm shy. Um, a lot of the time I forget that I influence a lot of people like that, but then when I see everyone in person like this, it's like it's just a surreal feeling, and I appreciate everyone that uh, supports us. I want to. I want to say that Puns looks at all of you as people that are worse than him at Valorant. That, that's also true. That's that's true. That's true. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's pretty crazy. Like Puns said, sometimes I forget because um, most of the time I'm just being an idiot and playing random games on stream and just doing <laughs> stupid stuff. But yeah, when uh, you see all of you guys here, it's uh, pretty surreal. I think that I earned it completely. I'm awesome, so <laughs> it's just natural. What can I say? He's kind of stopped. I was I was gonna do the narcissism bit, but now you've done the narcissism bit. We can't have two narcissists on the panel. Now it's not funny. If now you it's not now funny. It's serious. Now it's serious if I do it, so I'm gonna double down. Yeah, I really deserve this. Um, no, um, it really, it, it's very unfathomable. Uh, Tina's right. It's like blah, it's blah, just blah 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 blah. Basically, it's real good, and it's always surprising when people tell you that, because I am just a dude, you know what I mean? Ooh. Yeah, you do have the tattoo, I remember that. <laughs> Thank you. That was an awesome question to end on, because that is it. Oh, Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Thank you. <laughs> I want to answer my question. I want to... I want to I, I, I finish off by saying uh, thank you so much to every single person uh, who's sitting in this room right now, including the creators, including the community. Um, you guys genuinely have no idea what an incredible feeling this is. 
Um, so thank you guys very much. Um, and and uh, answering your question, she asked uh, what it's like to be the only Hispanic in Dream SP. To me, representation is really important. And to have that privilege of representing, <laughs> to have the privilege of representing the Hispanic uh, audience as well, it's, 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 it's a blessing. It really is. Thank you guys so much. Would you like to close us out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I mean, thank you guys so much. I mean, coming for coming here, for supporting us. I mean, obviously we can only do this because of you. So I love you guys. I'm sure they feel the same. And I'm gonna. We're, I think we should finish before I cry. So. <laughs> thank you. Thanks so much for coming, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. Thank you so Woo! Yeah. And I've been Jack Manifold. Thank you so much.